Hello, I am out for a walk with Jake and it's Wednesday but I took the day off because I've been getting over 40 hours every week and I have to work on Saturdays and so um, I took today off. So anyways, I'm out for a walk with Jake and it's peaceful except for the mosquitoes. And so I just thought I would do one video here um, just to see kind of what it looks like out off of his property. And then <clears throat> I'll do another video later today when I do my workout so you can see how, um, how that's changing. Um, anyway, so I just want to give you a quick, quick view. Uh, Jake really needed to get outside today and it's the first sunny day really since I've been here and it's June 12th and it's been really hard so I had to get out and this is my new Y shirt. I just got a bunch of clothes yesterday. This one has a little kangaroo pouch which is quite nice. Um, so anyways I'm going to flip this around. Oh no. I don't know if, if I can do that anymore. Okay, apparently I can't flip it anymore. So, I'm going to show you. I can't see what you see, but there's Jake. He's very happy to be out, and there's mosquitoes swarming. But this is the view of the swamp kind of near his house, and we'll go a little bit further down to where the beaver dams are. But this is also known as the Bear Superhighway because it goes all the way down. It's an old railroad track. And it goes back down that way, and Ryan's house is just on the other end over there. You can't see it, but it's about a quarter of a mile that way. So, anyways, we're going to walk. And um, Jake Jake heard the word walk, and he's very excited. Jake, are we going for a walk? Are you a good boy? Yes, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, he's so excited. So, anyways, we're walking, and I like to talk when I walk, too because that lets the bears know that I'm here. So, so this first part we're coming up to right here, if we were to go to Ryan's mailbox, we would go this way, and there's his road over there. I don't know if you can see it at all. Okay, so if you go down this little path that connects up with the road, this is just kind of a shortcut, and um, just beyond that road over there, um, you go, you know, another quarter of a mile, and that's where his road connects with the more main road, and it is paved. So, anyways, Jake, come here. Come here, Jake. Come here, buddy. Are you a good boy? Come here. Yeah, right here, good boy. Right here. Ready? Let's go. Oh, he's such a good dog. Anyways. So I try to try to give him some commands as much as possible when we come out because he doesn't get very many of those from Mr. Seabold. So we're walking. It's just going to be another minute and then we'll be down at the beaver dam. And the only other neighbor who lives here year round is uh, calling Ryan because the beavers are making a dam. And I didn't know this, but beavers are pretty awesome. They're the only other animals in the world that manipulate their environment the way that humans do. So they manipulate the environment by, they find a little creek and they block off the creek to make a beaver dam. And that raises the elevation of the water. And when it raises the elevation of the water, it makes it deep enough so that they can chop down trees and store the trees underneath the frozen water. And it's like a fridge. And that makes it so they have food for the winter. So the beavers, and I see their little beaver house. And once the dam is done, then they make their beaver house. So let me see if you can see straight ahead where the grass is growing right there is um, their little beaver house. And beavers are the cutest things ever. I had no idea until I saw some in real life. And they make little noises like, mm, mm, mm. and that's how they talk. And then they're like, rah, 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 rah. and then they're like, mm, and the tree falls, it's so cute. Um, so anyways, so I'll give you a view of the beaver pond. Oh, I keep forgetting. I wonder if I did that already if I flipped the phone to the side. I don't know if that changes the video at all, but. So this is the beaver pond. 
that they made, but the problem is, as Jake will point out to you, is that, so the neighbor was upset because the road's just on the other side of the dam, and so when they build their dam, um, they build it so fast, they can build up to five feet a day of pond, of dam. And so here's their little dam, Jake will show you. So it blocks up the water and then when a big rain comes, it, it might bust through their dam and wash out the road. So Ryan's been down here every couple days trying to clear out the dam and then the beavers make the dam again. And I don't know who to root for. I don't know if I should root for the beavers or for Ryan because really, I mean, beavers have quite a nice little situation going here and I would just hate to ruin their home. So they're making a pretty, but see all the trees that they've killed? And Ryan's like, well, they kill trees too. And I'm like, well, at least they have a good reason for it. So, so anyways, that's kind of, you can see, can you see? Yeah, you can see their little house. See? Right there. No? Somewhere back there. Anyways. So anyways, that's why we came out for a little walk and Jake stopped eating the grass. Good boy. Um, that's what we're doing. And I just thought before I headed into town, I have to send a package, so I have to go into town. And before I did that, I should give Jake a little bit of exercise, and I needed to get a little bit of exercise and sunshine. So it is beautiful here. And that is one thing that I can say is a pro for northern Minnesota is it is really nice and beautiful in the spring. Once the sunshine comes out, it's just been kind of hard. Jake, what are you doing? Come on. Seriously, he's a putz. Like, he pretends he's hardcore, but watch this. He will trip and fall. Jake, come on. Jake, let's go. Yep, he tripped. Okay. Uh, so that's pretty much all I wanted to say for this video. And um, I'm getting eaten by mosquitoes. So. so that is one thing I really do like is it is beautiful here. And... Um, I would love to come here on vacation, so that's all I have to say about that. I'll close out with giving you a pretty view of, of what the panoramic is, so. I'm sorry I kept switching the video from vertical to horizontal, and I'm sure that will be annoying, but whatevs. Alright, bye!